When you think of strong bones, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? When you think of our teeth, we think of preventing osteoporosis. Yes, it's calcium. But hold on a second. Calcium for weight loss, to increase metabolism, to help burn fat? You bet. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. Because when we think of calcium, very few of us in the whole entire medical field ever realize that calcium is so important to increase thermogenesis. And calcium is so important for a muscle function. It helps transmit nerve impulses that control muscle movement, including the heartbeat. It's involved in blood clotting, nerve function, hormonal regulation. It affects enzymes throughout our body, our metabolic processes, our energy production, as well as our digestion. And it plays a vital role in cellular communication and regulating various cellular processes. So I want to share with you the many things that calcium can do when it comes to our body shedding that weight, increasing that thermogenesis, that metabolism. Because calcium is so important with the enzymes when it comes down to breaking down fat so our body can burn it. Because calcium activates enzymes involved in fat metabolism, facilitating the breakdown of stored fat. And calcium activates the enzymes, lipases. That's the enzyme that's necessary to break down fats in our body. And it also promotes the conversion of stored fat into usable energy. And calcium supports the mitochondria. That's where our cellular energy, that's where we get that ATP. That's the powerhouse of our energy that we get within our body. That helps increase thermogenesis. It also activates uncoupling proteins in the brown adipose tissue, increasing thermogenesis and calorie expenditure. And calcium also regulates the release of hormones involved in metabolism, such as insulin and glucagon. In order to have fat burning, we need to have lower insulin levels, but calcium plays a tremendous role in regulating our blood sugar levels, trying to sustain it, keeping it level, keeping it balanced, which plays a tremendous role in fat burning and thermogenesis. And calcium also assists proper functioning of the thyroid gland. That's the gland that helps regulate our metabolism. And it aids in the production of triglycerides, the primary form of stored fat in the body. Adequate calcium levels help maintain a healthy body composition by preserving lean body mass, which increases our metabolic rate. And that's why it's so important as we get older to maintain that we're doing some exercise because we lose lean body weight as we continue to get older. And when we have that lean body weight, which we call muscle, that's going to help increase our metabolism, keeping us from getting fat, lowering our bad triglycerides and cholesterol, and helping us burn fat much easier. And calcium promotes the synthesis of carnitine a compound involved in fat transport and utilization. And it activates the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase, which helps convert carbohydrates into energy instead of storing them as fat. And calcium promotes the release of serotonin, the neurotransmitter up in the brain that allows us to control our appetite and cravings. Calcium also maintains the integrity of the cell membranes, allowing for efficient nutrient exchange and energy production. It supports optimal muscle function, enabling more effective workouts and increasing calorie burn. And by having adequate amounts of calcium in our body, your workouts are going to be more efficient, they're going to be more productive, and you're going to see great results. And calcium supports the production of heat shock proteins, protecting cells from stress and enhancing metabolic efficiency. And yes, it also maintains our bone health, vital for overall metabolic function. And calcium plays a significant role when it comes to the production of growth hormone that will increase your metabolic rate, prevent you from gaining weight. It will help support that lean body weight, that muscle. And when you sleep and get that good night's sleep and you get to bed early enough, in the middle of the night, that growth hormone is going to go sky high but that calcium is going to only make it much better. And when it comes to your blood vessel function, calcium will ensure the efficient nutrients and oxygen delivery to all the cells involved in metabolism, as well as helping to regulate lipid metabolism, preventing the accumulation of those harmful fats in your body as well. And when it comes to vitamin D, yes, we need that when it comes to absorbing calcium 
into our bones. Vitamin K2 will prevent it from going into our arteries, but we still can get that through our foods. Now, did you know that calcium helps regulate the production of vitamin D? An adequate calcium in the body will give you more insulin sensitivity. It will make you more insulin sensitive. It's gonna allow insulin to work easier to get glucose into the cells, into the mitochondria. It's also gonna help stimulate the thyroid hormones, which is gonna help increase your metabolic rate. And when it comes to your gut microbiome, which influences metabolism and fat storage, calcium will definitely make a huge difference because your microbiome will help increase your metabolic rate as well as reduce inflammation throughout the body and build your immune system. And it also plays a tremendous role with ghrelin and leptin. Ghrelin is your hunger hormone. Leptin is your satiety hormone. It helps keep that more in check so it doesn't raise your ghrelin and give you those cravings where you're gonna overeat. And lastly, calcium promotes the breakdown of stored glycogen in the liver, leading to increased fat burning. And some excellent food sources of calcium include dairy products like milk, yogurt, and cheese, leafy green vegetables such as kale, spinach, and collard greens, tofu, soy products, fish such as salmon or sardines, fortified plant-based milk alternatives like almond milk or soy milk, nuts and seeds, especially almonds and sesame seeds, legumes including chickpeas, lentils, and black beans, as well as your fortified breakfast cereals and breads. And the recommended daily allowance is approximately 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams a day. And I always recommend get it from your foods. I don't like supplementing calcium because it can cause other complications, meaning that too much calcium can lead to too much calcification in our soft tissue, particularly if vitamin K2 is not available. Try to get your calcium from your foods. There are so many foods you can get it from. So here's the bottom line to help your body's metabolism, increasing thermogenesis, to help fat burning, to get rid of that belly fat, to get you feeling much better, to fill you up with that energy again, and to make you look better, start getting your calcium. And you'll be amazed what your body is gonna do for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.